Okay. All right, what's up guys? We are here today walking through Rama 3. This is a, a neighborhood walk that I've wanted to do for a very long time because it's an area that I'm personally interested in that I've never done. There's a, so we're not at the main Rama 3 road, but we're gonna go ahead and start out here because we get to see, show you pretty much the most. I planned out a route. I will uh, put in the links below uh, points of interest. And uh, Mayu's gonna be showing Mayu view again. It's not my fault, you know I had to walk away. Okay, recalibrating. I just realized that I have to manually switch. <laughs> I have to manually switch the F stop. Oh my gosh. Not good. I usually shoot on uh, shutter priority. So let me know how the picture profile is, guys. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Working out the kinks for you guys. Oh. got lottery going on here uh, so guys uh, Rama 3 uh, actually I get it confused quite a lot with Rama 4 and <laughs> this street that my co-worker told us about Chan Road is uh, based on what my saying is an extension of Rama 4 Road not right? extension it's almost reached to there but it's not really extension I mean, if you keep going down this, it's gonna be Rama 4, right? No. No? No. Then why'd you say it was like... It's almost, I said almost. Do you huh? want to connect? Oh, it's almost connected. Yeah, because they have some area it's not connected to them. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Haven't had the time to completely research this. What I can tell you is that it was quite a hassle to get here. What? And it's also one of the reasons why uh, many expats don't know about this place, but uh, I will say that the people who do know about Rama 3, they love this area. And I can already sort of see why. It, it definitely has that local feel. But... How do you say this? It, it feels more civilized. It's not quite <laughs> bang copy per se. This is nice. They sell French fries. 45 baht for that. Prices aren't too expensive. I, I imagine this, like this is where I would have street food. It's not like food in parts. But established hole in the wall places. This is, oh my gosh. There's so many interesting stuff around here. I mean, if you guys see my other vlogs, I, I don't hype up street food unless it needs to be hyped. Like, egg. Uh, egg. I'm sure this is simple enough, but I haven't seen them do this where they put the sausages and deep fried. So the reason why Rama 3 isn't as popular as it probably could be is huh, there, there's, there's really no BTS or MRT that comes down here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Maybe you can take the BRT extension bus by uh, the BTS. Yeah. Maybe you what read. station? What station? It's all along. So what station do you get off at and get on the BRT? Cheonlongsi station, and then you can take from. So Cheonlongsi. That's one stop away from Silom, right? Yeah. It's 
possible. I mean, I think I read somewhere else that you can take a bus from Queen Circuit as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just... Yeah. That being said, um... Uh, we came here by motorcycle, but I don't know if I would recommend you guys come here by motorcycle. It's there, traffic. There, yeah, there's a lot of traffic, uh, especially now because they're doing construction on this overpass. And uh, ooh, look at that! Huh? <laughs> my you view, my you view. <laughs> temple visiting temple center. That looks interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this just like show show people stuff this like is this. This so interesting to me. What are these? <laughs> to me, it's interesting. I, I don't know what are these two. It no must idea. be. Are they handlebars? I don't know. For bikes, I'm not sure, but it's just interesting to me. This local life. I, I like it. It's not as touristy and hectic as Chinatown. Definitely has the local feel though. This is the visiting temple set. Oh my god. Like charge, set for the donation. I guess this yeah. is the food for pigeons and birds. These are quite. Yeah. <laughs> Even they sound. Wrong. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They're not very intricate. They seem sort of mass-produced, but a lot of red and gold. It's quite interesting. Okay, so they have very fancy. Woo! She's she's smiling at me. <laughs> I might have been waving at that. I might have been waving at that husband, yeah. wife or something. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, who's? Who's that guy <laughs> waving at my wife? <laughs> uh, oh yeah! 300 baht for hair. Is that cheap for a haircut? I think uh, it is. I pay about 500 for a man's haircut. I know I pay 200. They raise the price. Oh, they raise the price? Oh, look at this guy! Oi, 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 oi. There's a cat! <laughs> He's a, he's a friendly looking uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I thought so. He was a he was a chihuahua Hi. mix. He got a bit of feisty. Look at look at this, look at this. Beside the king there. <laughs> oh I did not even catch that. Huh. That's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's nothing else that you could put up in your house that's gonna get you more uh, street cred with the locals than a portrait of King Ramanai. I I need to I need to eventually get one. I, I like to. this thing. Oh that is nice. Wow the it's, thing uh, is they put the frame in the frame. Yeah frame <laughs> in the frame. It's uh it looks I mean I'll be convinced that that's antique. You know? I like this. Yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this! The king when he was young. Oh, this is good stuff. I don't know Do what that know? is. Do you wanna know? Bentian province. One tail. Tail. Uh, it looks no Chinese. Chinese collection. Yeah. You wanna know the price? What surprise? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I was afraid. I, I'm just curious how 30, much they charge. Yeah. What? Thirty thousand baht. Ten thousand. Ten thousand? Okay. Do you think you can buy with a ten thousand? That's fine. Uh, what? 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 what he's putting, oh. He's fishing. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh, this is very local. What is that? Catfish? Yeah. And he put a tanaka. Put a put a tanaka. Oh. Yeah. Oh, babe, they do the intestines. Yeah, this is intestine. Is it pork or beef intestines? Pork. Oh. I don't know. Koreans are all for beef intestines. Oh, yeah. 
But it's gotta be done right, otherwise it tastes really disgusting. Well, actually, it is sort of disgusting, but you just have like one little piece and it's fatty and chewy. And then you wash it down with soju. That's when it tastes good. All right, let's uh, cross the street here. It is getting less locally and there's so much more. We're gonna eventually uh, circle around and head over to Central Rama 3. So, you, if you want to come here and do the walk and you don't have a motorcycle or a car to get here, then uh, that's what I recommend that you do. Try to find a way to get to Central Rama 3. Everyone here knows Central. Rama 3. <laughs> and they will know Central, Central Rama 3. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what you need to be searching to get to this area. <clears throat> So unlike uh, yeah, my previous walks, honestly this is my first time here. I have absolutely no idea what to expect from here other than I just know it's, a, it's an area that's very popular with everybody. I mean it's popular, like everybody I've, I know that lives here likes it, but then nobody really comes here. <laughs> I mean who lives here then? Uh, remember that girl, that uh, that Korean girl that uh, 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 worked at the coffee? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, she used to live here, but she wor she worked in Tong Lor, and that's sort of a a pain. And you, have you seen her condo? What it look like? No. Oh, it's because it's um the price price oh. is really reasonable. Is it? Yeah. Then. You mean just I, this area? As I remember last time, long time ago, but oh. when I was trying to find a place to stay. Oh yeah? Because this is an area where I can maybe commute to work, you know? Uh, Not that far. I can take the local bus or something. That's true. So So when I try to find a place to stay, there's a lot of like apartments. Oh I like many this, babe. I don't know. This this place seems legit. This is that Ethan's uh, oh. legit food senses are tingling. Oh, they got a nice motorcycle shop. This is actually a necessity for me. They do have tuk tuk. I'm just curious. Oh, look at this. What? He's counting the how many passengers, so I mean, maybe he might FC? touch by person. What FC is this? What? Look at this. Look at this chill ambiance. Just grab a beer. Then put the lemon glass in it. Have and some fish. <laughs> Although me and Mayu, I don't know. This is uh, some people are gonna hate this because it might sound like we're we're not being local enough. But I am suspect of these street fishes. My kids tell me most of them are fished out of the river here. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, you guys, you guys, if you've been to the rivers and the canals in Bangkok and you smell it, it's not a place that I would risk even dipping the tip of my finger into. It, <laughs> I, I don't know how people... <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> That's all I'm going to keep it at. I mean... I don't think anyone would want to swim there. Why would you eat it? <laughs> She's taking a bath. <laughs> right. So I'm just I'm just being real. I'm just uh ooh. Oh there's a little kid taking a bath. I'm gonna have to censor that out. <laughs> I didn't even so notice. Um everything here looks legit. It does. I I'm I'm not somebody to usually say this about street food. Sometimes they're just carts, and I think it's very unsanitary. But here, aside from the fish, <laughs> the river fish, which I wouldn't eat anywhere, I I would, I would, <laughs> I'm having I'm having a hard time what? thinking what I want to eat because there's just so much. Oh my gosh, I love these Dessert things. Shop. Yeah, I would oh still God. eat it even with all the flies that are flying around. 
not the flies actually, it's a bee. Oh, they're bees? Oh, that makes a difference. Babe, my UV. <laughs> I can't focus close. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> my bees dead inside of the thing. Quite a lot. Oh, what is this? I feel like this is sort of artificial, See? this kind of egg. This is junk, like junk. Oh, junk, porridge. But what is. Why does it turn pink? I think this is duck egg. Duck eggs are usually pink? Or salted egg. Why is it pink though? I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. I've always um, just been suspect of it. Like I'm not a big fan of the salted egg, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. What are these? <gasps> they are Yota. Oh, this does look oh. good. 8 pieces of honey bun. 30 pieces, 270 bun. 8 pieces for 80 baht is good price. Good price. <laughs> I like nice. it. Hey, they got gochujang cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It looks nice. Huh. So all the sort of newer, modern Thai street food is uh, incorporating some elements of Korean now. Another. Which, um, ooh, this place looks good too. Roti place, babe. Oh, roti. it's a roti shop. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh. 70 baht. Oh, I like that. Oh, we well, we parked over here. By the way, guys, <laughs> somewhere on the right hand side. I think it's over there. So we're gonna have to come back here even after we go to Central Drink Rama 3. 30 baht. I'll probably throw in what we eat at the very end. I like this. Oh, sorry. Bicycle Another lady. <laughs> Get it? Shop. Get cha. Get cha. Because cha is uh, tea, right? Yep. Does it, does it mean tea in um, Thai too as well? Huh? Cha. What? Cha. Does cha mean tea in Thai as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because it means tea in Korean. Chinese same, Japanese same. Japanese. Oh. So all Asians are unified in tea. We passed across the street. Gotta watch out. Almost ran into that guy. <laughs> good thing. Good thing I looked before I crossed. Accessory. Accessory. Oh, lucky number. Every Thursday or oh, Monday, I don't remember. Oh, yeah? They have a lottery day, so they will oh. all my Thai work homeworkers check the lottery. Oh yeah, they're all doing <laughs> and then lottery. And someone order uh -huh. like some like donut or uh -huh. any like bubble tea, uh -huh. that means he or she won lottery. <laughs> he won lottery. <laughs> yeah. Thais really like lottery. I noticed. They have a top market there. Right? Oh, top market. Yeah. Oh, they got a top market in here. Can I have a look? We have to turn off the camera now. Yeah, we pro they're probably gonna say no. Wait. But they do have a little tops over there. Okay. Uh, we we'll come back anyway. Yeah, because we'll we come back. Over here. Why do we want to go to tops right now, though? I want to get the for my sister. Like, oh. oh, that's oh. right. You know how Japanese people are quite particular about their products. I don't know. If you didn't know, I'm telling you right now, they're quite particular. They are. And Maya is going to Japan. And her sister. Oh, this is legit. This looks legit. Oh my gosh. Bunch of soups. Look at this little street food alley. Oh, I almost, I almost don't want to show you guys this because once the tourists start flooding this place, oh, we're going to lose a good thing that we had. Wow. I, okay, so it, it is sort of a pain to get around from here, guys. Logistically, if you work in Sathorn, like Mayu, it's actually not that far if you take a, a bus or even a motorcycle taxi. It might even, I mean, it's probably gonna be, actually, I know for a fact, 
I don't even have to price it out to know just roughly that it's gonna be cheaper especially if you take a bus um, and probably get there faster than if you were to live for example in like Udomsu for example which is another very budget-minded area but Westerners tend to just you know there were one how do you say when I talk to Western expats, they're just sort of single-minded. They believe that they have to be on the BTS. But if you work here, actually, it's quite inconvenient to be on the BTS because a lot of the places are going to be on the MRT line along South Thorne. So even if you are in Udomsuk, um, when I priced it out, it was like about 50 baht for me to go from Aso to the end of Udomsuk. So round trip, that's gonna be a hundred baht. Plus you're gonna have to transfer on the MRT on Asok, which is a, I can just tell you, take it from me, it's a pain in the butt to transfer at Asok because it's the busiest station. Um, it's like the only place I've actually had to wait for two, three cars to get onto the, the train. And um, anyways, you get on there at the MRT and then you transfer and you get to Sator. So it takes a long time, plus it's 100 baht just on the BTS and then you're paying another 30 baht-ish. So round trip you're uh, paying almost like 160 baht and that's if the place of work is right next to you. Most likely people are, oh I like this. Wow. Butter with the sugar? It's so bad for you but this is so delicious. <laughs> And most people have to sort of take another motorcycle taxi or... This is bees again? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This is tofu. What is it? Tofu. Oh, it looks good. But uh, yeah, back to the point. It, it honestly isn't always the best to be on the BTS. It really depends where you work and where you commute to. So for a local working, which is like in the business areas near South Thorne, etc. Rama 3 is actually not that inconvenient, but it will be inconvenient for all your friends, you know? So you're usually meeting them at Asok or somewhere there as a compromise. And your friends will most likely not come down here because they have to backtrack by bus and they don't know what bus to take. I don't know what bus to take. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Although I will say, uh, one of my subscribers that came out here, he showed me this app. And before the, the bus systems, it was hard to sort of figure out. But this new app, actually, it's quite good. It's called Via Bus. V I A Bus. Have you heard of it, babe? No. Yeah. Ooh. The real form. Oh, I just want to know how much it is. Oh, that's pretty reasonable. Oh, thank you. I'll have to come back. I can't eat anything because we're both, both of our hands are occupied. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a trade you want to... Yeah. So don't discount it, guys, this area. I mean, you're like, there's no BTS. There's no way in hell I'd live here, but... Rama 3 is a relatively popular area and if you know if you take a bus and such because buses maximum they charge 20 baht I think you pay like 16 baht or something 8 baht Which side you want to walk? On the uh, right side or on the left side? Yeah, I want to go on the right side babe Yeah Then this area is actually not too bad I guess this is a busy time. People are getting off from the work, coming back from the school. Yeah. Huh. I'm having to switch the brightness. People <laughs> crossing. Yeah, street. I'm gonna have to do. Uh, crossing the street. Why? Oh man, you know what? I can't do aperture priority on this lens either. Everything is manual. This is sort of a. <laughs> oh. I'm finding limitations. There's no one perfect lens. So I had to compromise, guys. I'm not, I'm not that rich. So I had to get a manual uh, wide-angle lens. So that's why you might be seeing my 
hands go out here and like adjust <laughs> once in a while the brightness. <laughs> but you know, I have, to, I have to keep my eye on the road because I, I can't be running into cars and such. So I can't monitor my uh, camera all the time. So I apologize if something goes too dark. Uh, but yeah, uh, long story short, if you do your research, you may find that this Rama 3 area, even though it's not on the BTS, is even more convenient for your lifestyle. So, obviously, for, like, for example, I'll tell you people who have to stay on the BTS. You are the kind of person that always wants to eat international foods. You want to be around other expats. Oh my gosh, this area is so amazing. Look at this, guys. You have to be around other expats. You want to socialize with them. Um, and you don't really work. You're retired. It doesn't really matter where you live. Um, as far as getting to work near the Sathorn area or something like that. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so picturesque. I, I notice a lot of the buildings here, they're built with this little arch. I wonder what era this was built. It has almost like a, how do you say, like a Beirut or Moroccan feel? Am I, am I, am I right? So if you're, if you're that kind of person that needs to see other expats, you love to drink, you have to be near Nana and Aso, then yeah, stay on the BTS. What have, it doesn't matter how far down it is, it's going to be more convenient because you just pick one BTS and you go. Although I am, it's not cheap by all means. Because if you're, for example, at Udomsuk, the other day I was going down there, I priced myself out. It's a hundred baht, right? So um, BTS and MRT, it's, it's all relative, I guess. But if you're living in Udomsuk, it, you're probably living there because you're on a budget. So there's gonna, I'm, I know I'm gonna have some people that say, 50 baht is not expensive, that's like a dollar 60. But dollar 60 times two, three, four dollars every day, that gets, that adds up. Because if you think about it, 50 baht, 50 baht, 100 baht, plus you're paying the motorcycle taxis, blah, 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 150 baht a day, that's on a really, like a budget person, 150 baht, is what you can get like a really you could you could actually like survive on less than 50 baht a day just eating um 150 baht i'm saying so uh yeah it adds up um whereas if you're here Rama 3 actually has quite a lot of buses, so you could probably get to anywhere you need to. And relatively, it's closer to the city than, for example, Udomsuk. So, the people who I think should, that should really consider this place are people who don't necessarily want to be with other expats all the time. They want a completely local experience. I'm showing you this because there's a lot of cool hole-in-the-wall restaurants over here too. I'm particularly interested in that one. So if you don't have to be near the other expats, you're not always needing to go to Nana and Asok and drinking with your other buddies. This place is great because the cost is low and you basically have everything you need around here. I mean, you saw tops. Uh, when we go to go over there, you'll see Central Rama 3, you'll see a Tesco. Basically, this is your own little enclave. You're gonna have everything you need. This is bubble tea shop and this is bubble tea shop. <laughs> you know, I know this bubble tea shop. This I place know. is super cheap. They have. They have this in Siam, that's why. It's really cheap, I know. Yeah. There's a one place near the hotel too. And then 
It's always a long. I I <laughs> I don't want to bad mouth them, but I, I tend to get diarrhea with that one. <laughs> I I think it's um. I think it's a lot of bubble. syrup. Bubble is maybe it's not the really natural. Yeah, yeah. You know, I saw an article that uh, the bubble tea here, the health ministry is having a say at it because they've one, in so much sugar. Yeah, one cup of bubble tea is more than the required of a day. Yeah, sugar. the daily intake of sugar or something ah, like this. Cool. I guess they're okay. No, there was another, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we saw a bunch of kids. There was another school, and this is another school. There's a lot of schools around here. It's a nice little family-friendly atmosphere, right? So yeah, I mean, if you want a low cost of living, you want to be near the locals, and uh, you still relatively want to be near Bangkok with this sort of hip feel before it, it becomes gentrified. Like, Why goldfish? How do I say? Every, everything that is hip here eventually gets gentrified, you know? If an area starts getting on the radars of people, then people are just gonna come in and start developing it, you know? It's, it's just <laughs> the cycle of neighborhoods. It doesn't matter what country you're in. Uh, but Rama 3 relatively is flying under the radar. It's a place that mainly locals <laughs> frequent. You like that? Hi. Yeah. So you can get in right now. I I am almost certain that eventually they'll have a BTS or MRT here. They have to. It's one of those areas that you can't ignore. Oh, more King. King Chilala Khon. And this is the uh, current king and the, the new queen. What's her name? Oh, as a matter of fact, this weekend is uh, the king's birthday. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, 29. It's so, a current king's birthday, right? Yeah, and then the BTS mm. will have a Tesla. Oh, Tisra yeah, to commemorate. 29 right. for maybe three months for free, right? Until end of September? Yeah, 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 yeah. To the. See? I don't know what's the name of that statement. I, was, I talked about this on the Patreon stream, but uh -huh. yeah. There's five stations. It's supposed to go across the river, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's a big deal for us because getting across the river was always a hassle. There's so much traffic on the bridges. Oh what my is God. this? Power Mastiff. Power Mastiff. Welcome. You know what? This is a very important oh. facility for a lot of people. Because they don't have a, the, what do you call the fitness center uh, I, or gym in the I'm apartment, not, I, I mean, <laughs> you, you guys don't just, require. I'm not a big, <laughs> I'm not big. I mean, I've talked to other guys and they're like, oh, I like living here near Prakanong or whatever because they have a gym that I go to. And I'm like, you don't got a gym in your uh, condo? And they're like, well, I need a full gym. or something. So it's like, if you're, I mean, people who work out are very particular about their needs. So they have it here, guys. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Oh, Babe, this cute. is so picturesque. That's cute. Yeah. They must have coordinated this and colored the... Oh, man. Wow. They even colored the satellite dishes. It's so cute. I mean, why did they point in the same direction for satellite? Well, obviously because the, sa the satellite's over there, babe. Yeah, that direction? Yeah. That's, that's, oh, yeah? that's how satellite dishes work. <laughs> it's not Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, this place is cool. I wonder, I wonder how much it would be to rent like a home here. One of these houses.
<laughs> this is one of those places that I could totally see once this place gets on the radar uh, somebody getting like a hostel set up here <laughs> I bet you it'll happen in the next five years this untouched area of Bangkok oh, I'm being loud I'm gonna sort of turn my volume down as to not disturb the locals oh it's getting dark first restaurant open yeah oh it goes and it goes an endless amount down 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 oh what is this oh they do like paper Printing. Oh. You know how our neighborhood drama through nine? It's all about textiles. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can Ooh, there's there's more paper shops. I don't know, it seems like every neighborhood they have their own little trade that they master. This area seems to be where they print paper. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. I'm hoping that this leads back into the main road uh, and doesn't get in. This is back to the main street. <laughs> back you're, to the main you're already street. looking, right babe? I already checked it. <laughs> God, that's what I was afraid of because if it didn't, Mai is going to be pissed. It's twice. What? I'm, I'm like walking on the gutter. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of cars in Bangkok. I don't think the streets here were designed for cars. But these car people think they own the road. Ah, <laughs> oh, local salon. They got a local butcher here. Oh, the laundry is 20 baht. You don't have to buy a washing machine. That's great. So to summarize it, you're retired. You don't really need to get anywhere. You just want to stay on a very budget-friendly area and experience something that's local but not so local like Bang Kapi. I mean, I've been there. It's a bit too local for me, guys. <laughs> oh, I like the street. I'm gonna go in here, babe. Ooh. Wow. I like these little alleyways. I would totally take pictures and such if uh, I wasn't doing the street walk. Yeah, this this has a. Uh, the thing I don't like about very local places, it's way too crowded. It's just too many people. Uh, the buildings are... I, I don't know, how do you say it? I guess it's not as hip. 
I know a lot of people don't like this hipster thing, but it's nice when the buildings are like nicely colored, like you see yeah. the alleyways are nice and quiet. Hey! What? Cat oh. Cat oh, there's a cat hotel. No, no, hot cat, yeah. What? Oh, he likes people. There's a lot of cats chilling in the sun. Yeah. Way hotel for the cat. Yeah. You know, people need stuff like that. Cat hotels. They're gonna go on trips. What are they gonna do with their cat? Um. So yeah, uh, I, I know. I mean, you guys judge for yourself. But you can see if the cost is low and you don't necessarily need to always be at a soul, get the bars and such with your expat buddies. You can see why this place would be nice. Just sort of keep to yourself. Go out and actually have legit street food, not like the cheap stuff that they just deep fry in palm oils and just. You know, you probably die of some heart-related issue. Which what is in this the long thing? run oh is God. gonna cost you more than the money you save on street food. Who <clears throat> is this guy? Um, yeah, so... Or, lastly, let's say you're somebody that works near Sathorn, which is a very good possibility if you're working here. You're gonna work in Sathorn because a lot of the international companies are based out of there. It's actually very inconvenient to live on the BTS line unless you're literally right at the, the transfer station near Siam or uh, which uh, a lot of people aren't going to be living there because it's super expensive. I mean if you have all the money in the world, more power to you. You can live anywhere the heck you want and it, you, can, you can find more convenient places. But um, for people who are looking to live relatively on a budget. Oh, this is nice. But still want to experience a place that isn't... Oh, I don't know. That doesn't really have character. Oh, there's a cat. But what's the point of living out here when you're not oh, in an enjoyable place that has character? Love it. Man, if I if I didn't work uh, in Siam, I wouldn't mind living here at all. Oh, they got a Muay Thai gym over there. Huh? A Muay Thai gym. It looks like a nice one too. Yeah. As far as the feel of the neighborhood, I, I like it. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods. I I like living in Ramanai. I mean. Given my current situation, it's not like I'll move here because Rama 9 is just very convenient being on the MRT and also very close to the BTS on the MRT that it's just really convenient to live there, guys. Um, but if you look at my Rama 9 walk, you'll see that the main areas, it's now starting to spread out into the local areas and the local areas are sort of losing their feel. And the local areas themselves already, they don't have like this very chill atmosphere. It has a very gentrified, like downtown sort of busy city feel. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's not easy to relax there. As a matter of fact, I don't want to even live right on the Rama 9 intersection where uh, Central Rama 9 would be because Amayu was just telling me that that was voted the loudest area. Oh my gosh, another cat. There's so many cats here. 
And they're all so friendly. Look at him. Can I touch you? Can I touch you? Are you gonna bite me? Bite him! No. Bite him now! Okay. No, he doesn't bite me. Bite him! Oh, he doesn't bite huh? me. Oh. oh. It's oh. a girl, babe. That's why. Oh. The girl likes the man. Oh, girls like boys. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. I want to live here just to feed this guy every day. <laughs> this is not a guy. It's a girl. Babe. Feed this girl. Feed her. Look! Oh, she's so deprived of affection. <laughs> like, I just put my hands out. Oh, she's licking me. That's, that's a bit creepy, guys. <laughs> uh, cats have that really weird um, prickly tongue. <laughs> it, it freaks me out when they lick me. <laughs> but yeah, if I didn't have to live there, I would live, I would live here. I would save money. Um, stay somewhere that's still local, but I can relax. And uh, they're gonna have a central, so I can I have access to all my sort of gentrified Western foods. Uh, actually, mainly I eat Japanese foods, but yeah, it's like I need access to my Japanese foods. I need yayoi, <laughs> so. I'm still gonna have access to that. Uh, I could totally see why a lot of retirees like this place. This is a perfect place for retirees who don't necessarily need to be near the Nana Asok area. I keep saying that, but that's like the only benefit of living in BTS I could possibly think of. Um, but I will say that uh, the video I did on Prokhono. Again, organic place. Oh. I I was reintroduced to Prakanong by somebody who loves living there. It's a pretty nice spot, not gonna lie. But I still like this very local feel here. Organic detergents. I want to use organic detergents. It's written in Japanese. Biodegradable detergent. Yeah. Wait. Read some article that detergent is uh, detergent causes cancer. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, so I'm just gonna. Oh, look at this photo studio. Oh, so nice. Huh? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly around here. White potato. Bananas. Wait, Spring roll. As a vlogger, when you're walking around with a big camera, you have a. You get this sense and you can sort of feel out the vibe of a neighborhood because on the extreme, where if let's say they're banana, so local and they're so reserved. They, I don't know. Maybe there's some. They're they're doing something wrong. Then they 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 sort of shy away from you, and like give you the stink eye, <laughs> um, which doesn't happen that much, honestly, in Thailand. People are generally very open and friendly, and they're open to foreigners coming out here and adding to their economy. Or you go to very gentrified modern places. What he wants to do. I don't know what he wants to do. Let's just go. Uh, yeah, if you go to very gentrified places like Central, if I walk around with this camera, I know the security guard's gonna come and say, don't take video or something. Because they think, you know, they, they start suspecting whatever it might be. Like I know in Korea, the reason they didn't want me to video like this with a high quality camera is they honestly think I'm there to steal their designs. You know? They are building a new condo here. Oh this is Lumpini. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah Lumpini. Oh I think I think I saw this one. Lumpini, right? Yeah. Oh this is a really good one. 
People are always wondering what condo should I buy, etc. If it was me buying a condo right now, just because everywhere near Rama 9, which, you know, I prefer to live, is overpriced, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be priced well over there. Although this, this, that one is probably still going to be relatively expensive because you'll see that it's very, very close. close to, yeah, very close to Central Lama 3 and yeah. Main Street too. I mean, for those of you who don't need to necessarily be right next to MRT or BTS, it is a, a better they location a than mine for sure. Real estate information here. Oh, for rent. Rental list. 25 square meter. 50,000 per month. It's not cheap. It is. What is uh, maybe here above this cafe. Oh, above that's this cafe. Why, that's why they have this um, exactly the same. I have a feeling that this is maybe not one year, might be month to month. Oh, okay, that's good. That's then it might be good. Short term stay here. You should, you should go in there and ask, babe. Can we ask? Can I turn it off? Yeah, you can put it there. I don't know. Yeah, don't, you don't have to point it at it. Hello. Oh, this is a hotel policy. So for example that oh it's a 9.7 rating. Everything oh, so it's like month to month. You just come here, pay 15000 and they can stay a month. They change the bed sheets, towels as well. They clean the room for you. So it's almost like a service apartment and it's 15000 per month. And you don't have to like pay one month in advance or anything. You can just say I want to yeah, do one month. Oh, how local. much is it per day, by the way? Uh, one, uh, one day only. Yeah. yeah, how much? How much? Sorry, guys. I know you're not interested in. <laughs> oh. I try to keep it one cut, but that's not bad, guys. I mean, there's one where you could come with eight people and split it between eight people and it's 50,000 baht a month. It's like a nice little bunk bed situation. Uh, this one uh, has a queen bed for two people. So it is quite small, though. You can rent per day. It's oh. 1,000 baht per day. Oh, yeah? so you but get almost a 50% discount if you do it for room, a month. This uh, yeah. room, they don't sell it per uh, day. Per yeah, day. you have to get the whole thing. Oh. It's not a hostel either, right? I got the name oh, yeah? in case. That, She's really, uh, but he, <laughs> he's really uh, helpful, nice. Yeah, he's super nice. I could just tell by his demeanor Rainfall, how he talks very yeah. softly. <clears throat> Uh, we have to cross the street. Where can we cross oh, the yeah? street here now? I was just gonna cross at the, at the intersection. Yeah. I mean, you you would think, but <laughs> I see the people standing, so I think. I'm uh, I'm, uh, you shouldn't assume anything here in Bangkok. <laughs> but here, you, that is a very, you know what? If you guys want to have a totally local experience, you just want to Bangkok out here for a month. That is that is a really good option, because. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Airbnb trying to arrange for all that. <laughs> it's but just... it's good though. 15,500. Yeah, and then they come in and they clean your bed sheets and everything every day. Yeah. Towel and everything. Yeah. You don't have to pay a deposit. None of that. You see Central Plaza from here now. Yeah. I mean, if it was. Oh, oh, oh it smells really it bad. It smells here. like. A... I, I saw a lot of dogs inside the room. I guess. Oh. That... 
that house or yeah, that, that, that place. Oh, it smells really bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, so here's the big intersection. That looks like I know they're making a uh, high end lumpini as well lately. The color scheme tells me that's either a lumpini place or the lumpini tower. Not so tower, it's probably not the cheapest. Lumpini Tower is office. <laughs> Lumpini Tower? Lumpini. No, no, no. They, they like it's called Lumpini Tower or something. It's like a new series they're really? making. Yeah, it's like even a higher, more higher end um, than Lumpini Place. Are they touching the mouse? What's wrong with them? I think they're trying to just. Uh, if someone doesn't wear a helmet, I guess. He's wearing a helmet. But on top, standing, he doesn't wear a helmet. Oh, yeah? Oh, the, yeah, we got pulled over for that, too. So there's this misconception that only the driver has to wear a helmet. Seriously, were you thinking like that before? Yeah, because, because, really? let me tell you why people think this. And there's reason for it. Ah, uh, because the motorcycle. Yeah, when you get on a motorcycle taxi, you're, you're on without a helmet. Now, now, lately, they wait. <laughs> now lately they've been sort of cracking down on it, so he doesn't wear it. <laughs> a lot of yeah, like that. She wears. It. Yeah, they don't really mess with the motorcycle taxi drivers. Like, I guess it's sort of understood. It might not be practical to be offering it, and people don't want to be wearing other people's sweaty helmets, you know. But if it's a <laughs> if it's a non-motorcycle taxi driver and you have a passenger without a helmet. The cops will pull you over for sure, and it's yep. uh, the fine is actually not that bad. It's only what was it, hundred baht? Three hundred baht? What? Four hundred? No, no, not hundred. For sure, it wasn't not just hundred. It must even three, at three hundred baht, it's less than ten bucks. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was like two hundred, one hundred baht. I forgot oh. what it was. Doggy. But definitely less than ten bucks. Doggy, doggy, doggy. But the big hassle is you have to go to the police station to pay it off. <laughs> Hello. And for example, we got pulled over in Prom Pong and the that jurisdiction falls under the Tonglor Police Department. Oh man, having to go through traffic just to get that basically killed our whole day. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I, we we well, literally I, I, on the way I guess it's sort of like a I don't know if this is this constitutes a bribe, but I was just like, can't we just pay here? We got a bunch of police officers. I mean, I know you're not ripping me off. You know, I know this ain't a bribe. I have to pay this ticket. Can we just pay you the, the 200 baht? And they're like, no, I'm going to hold your driver's license. You have to take this sheet all the way to the police station. Get a That was a bigger hassle than paying the fine. Uh, but I mean, you know what? It's good. It's well, good that they do that because that will make you think twice. Because if people could just get away with it by just paying the fine alone, then you know, they might just never follow the rules. So I could appreciate that. Yeah. You know, I feel like we... Is there a way you can walk inside there? Yeah, they, they have some small bridge. Yeah. I'm gonna to just. Cross, I guess. I'm gonna just show you guys what's over there. Uh, yeah. A I think. Barber shop. Eh? Well, you can't go here, so obviously there's like some kind of access from the there other is. end. There is. There is a one. Oh, yeah. I show you. But you need to listen. Uh. I mean, I show this camera. Okay. <laughs> On the my YouTube. Over here, it's relatively empty lots. I wonder if that's the river right over there. The river is that side. Oh yeah? yeah? It's just sort of devoid of any buildings. This feels like Lama because they have a tollway in Hong Kong. Uh-huh. 
Oh, see? I do remember hearing I... from the girls who live near here that drive a car. They say it's actually not that bad if you have a car because oh, okay. the freeways are near here. So. Oh, okay, that was our entries. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and also, this area, I think, I think it has better air because, uh, what is it called, Bangkok Chow? Bangkok Chow. Yeah, the green lung of Bangkok. That is artificial island, I think. Huh? That is artificial island. It, whether it be artificial or not, they're real trees, you know, a ton of trees and such. They are located near here. So, That's yeah, I mean, if you guys um, are concerned about air, the areas that particularly have bad air, it's uh, south, where is that, west, yeah, southwest, sort of, sort of near, <laughs> yeah, where our other buddy Warren lives, that has the worst air on average in Bangkok, um, and then southeast has the second the worst because those two areas have factories um, and they create the most pollution contrary to what people think they think it's uh, traffic but traffic doesn't create as much as like the I think it's the stone masonry that's in the southwest and those factories and southeast are we going inside? central? yeah yeah guys this is central by the way uh, no let's just uh, go somewhere else and then circle around and then uh, ooh. I like this ice cream. This is good. I like this brand. We'll come back. We'll come back. Um, if you see that brand, that green ice cream brand, that's a local brand. I cannot find it at the grocery stores, but they... I found out actually the, <laughs> the person who owns that company and runs it, one of their kids Where gets tutored going? at my place. Where are we going? So... During our parties, they'll just uh, sort of supply straight, straight to that up area or whatever the place you said. Ah, it's not a Tiwan. What are you talking about, not a Tiwan? It's not a Tiwan street. It's not the the. the I don't know. I saw, I saw a bunch of bars and stuff over there. Remember? Okay, and then we want to walk back again to that area. No, and then our street walk ends. <laughs> uh, that is the end point. Yeah. And then we'll go into Central Plaza and then chill, chill out. I need some AC right now. <laughs> oh my god, you want to go up there? Oh my goodness, this is quite far. Yeah, it is. Alright guys, so this be Central Rama 3. One of the bigger Centrals, one of the more popular Centrals. So the big centrals in Bangkok are Central World and then it would be... I actually found out Central Rama 9 is big. <laughs> um, I did a walk for the Patreon for Central Left Prow. In my mind I thought that was a bigger place but I saw some statistics. Especially with the G Tower edition, Central Rama 9 I think is one of the bigger ones. And then I don't know which one is bigger. This one, Central Rama 3 or Central La Prao. I haven't been to this Rama 3, but it's one of the bigger ones. And then I believe they have a Central... What is it? Bang Kapi, I believe? On the way to uh, Mega Bang Na. Uh, Central Sentam Bang Na, was it? Huh? The mall. The mall Bang Na. Yeah. Okay, so that's not a Central. So th then there's only these three, right? Oh, and Central Pink Cloud. Yeah. And then obviously you have the ones that are Central East Gate and West Gate. Oh, is it Central East Gate or Central Festival? But the ones that are like really Watergate. on the outskirts. It's called Watergate. Central Watergate. Was it Watergate? It's not. East Gate. No, East, East Gate. Gate. It's East Gate, right? North of Central Pink Cloud. I guess Watergate. Uh, what? Watergate? Why, why, why have to be Watergate though? It's the scandal. It's not. What, what scandal are you talking about? President Nixon, America. It's not. It's Watergate. Oh. 
they have a lot of canal in Thailand, so they have a lot of water gate. Oh, <laughs> okay. you mean platinum? No, it's okay. One of the places is platinum, but okay. Oh, super local. So, yeah, guys, uh, Another. some of the newer, a lot of the newer condos that are built, being built around here, though, are are closer to the river, and they have a really nice view. Oh, super local places here. I like it. Look at that. So local. You want to have noodle there? <laughs> School kids getting out of work. Oh, they're not school children. They, they're getting from the school, not the work. They, uh, they're, they're not school. I think they work for like Central or something. That's a work uniform. Ah, anyways, what's your overall impression of... Uh, oh, they have one kidney place. Rama 3, babe. Um, Would you want to live here? Um, for me, I don't have any schooners or commerce, so I don't think uh, for me, but... But yeah. I guess who, who doesn't we need to go to work every day? I guess it's a good option. Yeah, if you don't need to go to work every day. So they got a Lumpini place and a suite. Even wow. Lumpini townhouse. Oh, <laughs> townhome. It must be like an older one. I, I, I bet you that because those Lumpinis are a bit older, it's probably more affordable. <laughs> oh, yeah. What about the ambiance? Do you like it better than RE? RE has a more younger, modern... Younger, more yeah, energetic. More gentrified, more hipster feel. It's, gen it's not really gentrified yeah, for me. Yeah, 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 it is. It's more like library for me. It's more lively. Say, because I feel they have more younger people running the business. And then um, mm. here looks more like... Although on average, people the people here seem here younger because they're... I mean, a student here looks yeah, like I'm talking about the people who are running a business here. Yeah, they yeah. have a lot of the shops, yeah. all shops, and then they're running like maybe 40, 50 years since they moved in this area. Yeah, people this area. Developing. That's why I feel this is... Yeah. I mean, Ali is more younger, but this is more like old kind of... And I would say that's why sales. I think Ari is more hipster because younger... People yeah, I, tend I don't to... say it's not hipster. It's... I'm saying it's just not that gentle fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's sort of... Anyway. I would say people would think it's more gentrified because of like the... Oh, what's that place right by RE? BTS RE. You know, by BTS RE, they have Villa Market and they have those gentrified they areas. They have a Villa Market. Right oh, you know what? There. They have a Villa Market here too though. Yeah. You're right. But I don't know. When I start seeing a lot of Westerners, it feels gentrified. But I think they have more buses here. They have um... Oh, absolutely. This is definitely... A, like, I haven't ran into any... Except for that one Western guy whose girlfriend was getting her hair done or something. I didn't see a single Western guy out here. I didn't see, you know, Chinese, I didn't see Korean tourists. Oh, I see Chinese though. You did? Yeah. Okay, they, sorry, they sort of blend in. <laughs> but I don't see that many. You guys can be the judge of that actually. Because I have this whole walk Which for way? you. You say you want to go straight? No, let's go in, yeah. So this is Villa Market. We got. This is we, what, what's the name? Up, the Up Lama Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Up Lama Street. If we're gonna find any Westerners, it's gonna be here.
All right, guys, sorry, the battery died. Um, this, however, is the up. It's called the up Rama 3. Right at the intersection. Uh, over there is central Rama 3, where we walk from. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, we right before we started to walk, we drove up this street here to get to the other main area over there and went into some local neighborhoods behind the area and we can tell that it's where all the rich people live. Rich folks. <laughs> uh, I can see that that's, it looks like Supalai condo over there. They're building a brand new condo way over there. This is, this is probably your gentrified hub of Rama 3. You know what, they're not bad. Um, I like these areas sometimes because you know, you just sort of get comfortable with certain things like Amazon Cafe. Uh, they had Shakariki, which is the Japanese izakaya place that I like. And what is this place? Babe, what does this say here in Chinese? Mayu reads Chinese, by the way. It's a noodle place? Yeah, or a dim sum place? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And you know what? They have a drive-thru at the KFC here. Oh, yeah? I think it's the only time I've seen. In, in Thailand, I think that might be the only drive-thru I've seen. No, if you go outside of Bangkok, oh. in, in beside a big main street, uh, they have a lot of drive-thru. Oh, okay. I yeah, like the rest areas and such. But yeah. yeah, I haven't really seen those in Bangkok. In Bangkok? Not really yeah. Bangkok. Like that restaurant over there looks pretty cool. You want to go upstairs? Yeah, I guess we can go upstairs. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. What is that? Uh, oh, why is it? Oh, because the AC is down there. They have like this Japanese ramen place. It's relatively affordable, 140 baht. Um, this, by the way, is called Mother Trucker. There, this food truck that's out here that I see everywhere. And the burger was 120, 40 baht. Which if I remember, if they have that food truck over at Rama 9, I'm, I remember paying significantly more for the burgers. I don't know if it's priced lower out here. They have a lot of places out of the booth. Oh yeah? Oh, there's another sushi place, yeah. Oh, I like these gentrified places, not for Western food, but mainly for Japanese food. <laughs> Japanese, babe. Not Chinese. I, love it. I like the local Chinese spots in Hui Kuang. Um, ooh. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, what is this? They have like some kind of weird looking... Wait, it's, it has Thai on it. Thai people make Chinese beer or something? <laughs> I don't know. Chinese. Hunan Lame. Hunan is a area in China. Oh, they have. I don't know. I really like this. Oh, look at all that fresh seafood there. Oh, this must be Chinese. Yeah, they got. I, what's his name? Mao Zedong? Ah, I might be wrong. Uh, yeah, these Chinese places are expensive. It's because the Chinese got the money to spend out here. <laughs> they got a Zumba. A Zumba and one of these, um, what do you call? Oh yeah, I see them working out here. This is, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can see it, but I can see it through the cracks. They got little suits. There's Villa Market down there. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, a bunch of girls doing yoga. <laughs> yoga classes are the best places to meet girls. <laughs> uh, I really like the deco. Ah, oh, my favorite Japanese franchise, Shakariki. 
I love this spot. <laughs> the three portion for the price of one udon. That's what I get all the time. Oh. Oh, they have this at Paragon, Creamia. It's like overpriced ice cream that some people swear is worth it. You can try it if you don't think three dollars is a lot. I think it's a hundred baht for it. All right. So over here you got Villa Market. This is where you get all your Western foods. They used to have a cat cafe here, but I don't know where they get. Oh, Mayu is searching for a cat cafe. Oh. Oh, I need to see some drinks. The AC. You wanna? I don't really see uh, Westerners. No. Camera, no video. Yeah, no. So we're heading over here at a KFC. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit out front. Uh, but this is the gentrified area, guys. It's not that busy. I mean, it is a weekday today. It's 7 o'clock. So there should be a lot of people. It just there isn't because it's a very local place. It's not very touristy at all. So if you guys want to stay away from the tourists, have this local ambiance, this is the place to be. You can see Central Rama 3, by the way, right over there. It was a bit of a walk. And across Central Rama 3, I don't think I pointed it out, but Tesco is right there, Tesco Lotus. And, oh, there's another Superlai condo. So it seems like tons of Superlai and Lumpini condos are big, 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 uh, Builders out here, you can check them out if you want to live here, but if you just want to try for like a month and you're just a tourist, that place uh, by the road we pointed out in the cafe, they, they seem pretty good. No camera. Oh, no camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want a camera. Well, yeah, I just want to wrap up. Yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this walk. We're going to sort of show you what we do around here now. Um, but... It is what it is. By the way, for those of you guys who think this is way too long, this is just our Wednesday walkthrough videos. If you want the shorter videos, set the alarm and check out our videos on Saturdays. Okay. That's our regular vlog. So. Saturday travel vlog. <laughs> uh, you might think this is long, but then the people on Saturday say this is too short when I release my regular types of vlogs. So I can't please everybody, but this is just what it is. I have two types of videos. Um, this gives you a complete walkthrough of the neighborhood. Um, <laughs> It was and, really good exercise walking around. Yeah. Well, Thank you to Mayu. One hour and a half, I guess, below. Uh, yeah, close to an hour and a half for yeah. sure. Yeah. So we're sweating. Mayu is a trooper, super trooper. Give us a comment. Yeah. And then and then like Mayu like, for doing this walk. <laughs> like our video. Oh no no no! How do you It's been. I think this was it. So actually it's not really happening. It's a uh, very residential. But I really like it because unlike the other areas, you can tell that this is established because of the really tall trees. You know? I would like to wake up to this every morning. Well, maybe if I live here, I would wake up in the morning. I like it. I wonder how much these houses go for. I don't think it's cheap though, because every one of these houses are actually really big. They're pretty fancy. Oh my god, I didn't realize that really rich people live here. No, you can see like they redid some of these houses. They're very modern. This is, I think this is like the neighborhood you see in Thai movies and you're like, where do they have houses like that? Because we all live in condos. 
<laughs> you know? It's here. I like it. Point. Connected to that other street? So picturesque. <laughs> what is what is that? I mean, it doesn't even move it to the left. It's just I own this road. <laughs> Okay, so this is the street that they're talking about. All right. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you're interested in more content about what our life's been like since moving to Asia, we release two videos weekly, longer neighborhood guides on Wednesdays and our regular travel and Bangkok vlogs on Saturdays. We hope you set that bell notification and see you guys next week for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia.